In this lecture, we will start with a new topic, Combinational Logic Design. A combinational circuit consists of logic gates whose outputs at any time are determined directly from the present combination of inputs without considering the previous output. When we say the previous output, that means that output should be kept in a memory, which will be covered in sequential circuit. Here in combinational circuit, the present output depends on present inputs. This combinational circuit consists of input variables, logic gates and output variables. Obviously, both input and output data are represented by binary signals. That means they exist in two possible values, one representing logic 1, that means 1 or 5 volt, the other logic 0, which is generally represented by 0 voltage. This is the basic block diagram of a combinational circuit. The N input binary variables come from an external source. The M output variables go to an external destination. And inside, this combinational circuit is designed as per our output requirements for any set of inputs. Let's see the designing procedure of any combinational logic circuit. First of all, the problem is stated. That means we need to understand the stated problem first, then determine the number of input variable and required number of output variables that we need to determine from the stated problem. Then assign letter symbols that must be unique letter symbols for input and output variables. Then construct truth table that represents the relationship between inputs and outputs. Extract the simplified Boolean function for each output variables. This extraction can be done using algebraic method or using Carnot map or any other methods for simplification of Boolean functions. Then draw the logic diagram. That's all for designing. Here you do not have to memorize all these designing procedures. Why am I writing this here? In order to make you understand how the designing steps are done. Once you start your designing process, you will come to know about these procedures. Let us start with our first combinational logic design. We will start with the designing of binary half adder. What is binary half adder? We know in binary, if we add two bits, for example, 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 0 plus 1 will give us 1. 1 plus 0 we know after adding these two bits will get 1. 1 plus 1 in binary adder will get 0 and 1 carry. So by default we can say the carries here are 0. So we have one input and another input that means two input and two outputs. One is sum output, another is carry output. Let's name it sum and carry output we have inputs A0, A1. Now here we need to design a combinational logic circuit where this operation will be performed. Let us draw the block diagram. Suppose we have a combinational logic circuit and the name of this circuit is half adder. How many inputs are there? There are two inputs A0, A1. A0, A1. How many outputs are there? 
we have two outputs sum and carry this is sum this is carry out now we need to design the circuit diagram or logic diagram which will be placed inside this box and we'll name it as half header so the problem is stated we have assigned the inputs with different symbols a0 a1 and we have assigned the outputs with different symbol s and c0 s means summation output and c0 means carry output why is it called binary half adder because we are not considering the previous carry from the previous addition i'll show you what is previous carry when we'll design the full adder next let us construct the truth table for half adder case truth table we have two inputs a0 a1 and in output side we have carry out and sum using two inputs how many combinations can we have we can have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 when the inputs are 0 0 the sum will be 0 carry will be 0 we can see from here when the inputs are 0 1 0 1 will give us sum equals to 1 and carry equals to 0 here sum equals to 1 carry equals to 0 here we have sum equals to 0 carry equals to 1 so this is the truth table for half header case now here we have two output functions one is s another is carry let's do for s first s equals to 1 when we have a0 equals to 1 a1 equals to 0 so you can write a1 prime a0 or when we have a1 equals to 1 a0 equals to 0 so a1 into a0 prime so this is the function written in soft form this can be written as a1 xor a0 next carry output is equals to we have carry equals to 1 only for one condition that is a0 equals to 1 and a1 equals to 1 so this will be a1 into a0 finally let us draw the logic diagram we have a0 input a1 input first of all the output will be drawn for sum sum equals to a0 xor a1 and carry equals to a0 and a1 we have a0 a1 they will be ended and that will give us carry out so this is the complete logic diagram and inside this half header box we have this logic with this logic diagram this circuit will act as half header let us design a full header before we start designing the binary full adder, let us discuss about the full adder. Why a full adder is called full adder? In a full adder, after adding two numbers, the carry from the previous addition is considered. Let me give you an example. Let's see the example using decimal numbers. Suppose we need to add two numbers, 345. This is a decimal number plus 217 so what is the result this is the least significant digit here we need to add this 7 plus 5 after adding this 7 plus 5 in decimal we'll get 12 we write 2 here and take the carry here now for these numbers this 4 and 1 we are adding these two numbers and we are having a carry from the previous addition so whenever we'll add two numbers and we'll consider a carry from the previous addition then that adder is named as full adder so four plus one that will give us five plus one from the previous carry that will ultimately return us six now here we have six and no carry so the carry here will be zero so zero plus three plus two will give us five now it is to be mentioned that the initial carry that means carry for the first digit 
first two digits is always zero because we know there is no carry in from the previous addition as because we do not have any previous addition so here the carry for the first digit can be considered as zero but for the second digit we'll get this carry if the addition of these two values gives us a carry so this carry may be equals to zero or may be equals to one now let's see an example using binary numbers suppose we have one zero one one plus one one zero one so if we add these two binary numbers these are binary numbers another example so if we add these two binary numbers first bit one plus one will give us zero again this carry will go there one plus one plus zero will give us zero so zero will be written here and carry one will go there one plus one will give us zero so zero will be written here and carry one will be here one plus one plus one will give us one plus one one zero one zero plus one will give us one 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 so we'll write one here and the remaining carry the end carry will come here so this is the result in binary so we'll design a single bit binary full adder where we'll consider two bit inputs and one carry input which may come from the previous addition let us draw the block diagram first there will be two inputs for example a0 or a b and carry in there will be two outputs one will be sum and another will be carry so this is a b this is carry in and we have sum output and carry output and we are naming this box as full adder first of all let us draw the truth table how many inputs are there we have a input b input and carry in which may come from the previous addition and we have carry output and sum so using three bits how many combinations can we have we can have eight combinations we can have zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero finally one one these are the combinations now when we have zero 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 the sum will be zero and carry will be zero okay carry out zero plus zero plus one will return us one zero same one zero zero plus one plus one will return us sum equals to zero carry equals to one one plus zero plus zero will return us one zero 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 one when we have one plus one plus one from this example we can see the summation value will be one and carry will be one so summation value will be one and carry will be one this is the truth table for full adder let me write truth table here so we have assigned the symbols of inputs and outputs we have construct the truth table for all the input combinations now we need to get the simplified function for output variables we have two variables s and c0 in order to get the simplified function of s and c0 we will use Carnot map let us solve the Carnot map for s first s we have three variables a b and c in Here it is zero 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 one one zero one one zero one. As we are simplifying S functions, so S equals to one for zero zero one zero zero one here for zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero one zero zero here then one 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 here. Now let us map the current map for C zero. For the same sets of input c0 equals to 1 at 0 1 1 0 1 1
here at 101 101 here then 110 110 here and finally 111 here now if we want to take the boxes containing ones we cannot take two boxes containing one which are adjacent so this is one single box one single box another single box and another single box so the if output can be written as a equals to zero b equals to zero and c in equals to one so we'll write a prime b prime c in we are writing it in soft form this is plus a prime b c in prime plus this one a equals to one b equals to one c in equals to one so a b c in plus a b prime c in prime now by using algebraic manipulation we can write this can be written as a xor b all will be xor with c in now i want all of you to prove this using algebraic manipulation now for C0, we can take this box, this is another box, and this is another box. So C0 can be written as, what is the name of this red box? A, B. This is true for C in equals to 0 and C in equals to 1, that's why we are ignoring that. A, B plus, what is the name of this blue box? Blue box is B, C in and the name of this green box is a c in. that's it in many books this expression is expressed as a b plus c in into a xor b this can be proved using algebraic manipulation as well i'm also keeping this task as your home task so prove this using algebraic manipulation finally let us draw the logic diagram logic diagram we have three inputs a b c in we have s output s output is nothing but a xor b xor c in so if we draw the logic diagram xor gate a xor b this output will pass through another xor gate that will provide us s output and the c output is a b plus c in and it with a xor b so we have a xor b from here a xor b that will be ended with c in so we can take this and from a b we can employ another and get both the outputs will be passed through or get eventually we'll get c out now we have this logic gates inside this box and inside this box we can say we have this logic gate this is designed using our combination of logic designing procedure with this logic circuit this circuit will act as full adder